Stop. Just stop. Listen. Nuclear weapons. Bad, right? Neutrons hit a radioactive core and boom. An explosion hotter than the core of the sun that could instantly level half of Manhattan. We'd be crazy to keep these things hanging around, but we do. Thousands of them. They're stuffed into submarines, bunkers, and underground silos in the U.S. heartland. And get this, hundreds of these cosmic-scale, world-ending weapons are always on, always ready to fire, and can be airborne within minutes. The military calls it prompt launch, we call it hair trigger alert. It should be called an accident waiting to happen. The idea is that if we think we see incoming nukes, we can get ours off the ground before they're destroyed. Use them or lose them, right? Except that's nuts. Leaving aside the morality of vaporizing people, Hair Trigger is a recipe for accidental nuclear war. The system relies on knowing when we're under attack. Satellites and radar detect something, the military puzzles it over, and the president has about 10 minutes to decide if the warning is real and whether to launch. The biggest decision in history in the blink of an eye. But satellite and radar can be wrong. They've been wrong before and we've been lucky, lucky, that missiles haven't been fired by mistake. Even generals, the who's who of our military, think the most likely nuclear war is an accidental one. That is 100% insane. Accident and nuclear war don't belong in the same sentence. They shouldn't even be in the same language. The president can and should change this, but needs political support to make it happen. You can help. Let our leaders know enough gambling with our lives. Let's take our nukes off hair trigger alert. <laughs>